Let's talk about the gig. A lot of people are curious about your incident. Well, you in teased it last week I did. in a way in which you gave away most of it. I don't think I gave away most of it. Okay. I think I gave away some of it. I think... Basically, we got uh, asked by a nice young man to... And by the way, he was a fan of the show. Oh, yeah. Him and his chick. Fiance, wife, chick? Uh, I think fiance, yeah. Fiance. They were fans of the show. Fun people. And they brought us out to a winery. I don't think they'd ever seen our stand-up. They hadn't seen yours. Maybe they'd seen mine. mine. They'd probably seen yours. And they're kind of like, oh, we're going to brand this as a Tim Dillon's going to hell live show. And it's like, (laughs) it's a winery in Cape May, New Jersey with like, Old people yeah. that don't listen to any podcast, let alone ours. Right. They're not coming to Skankfest. No. The crew and They're, not, they're not real ass dudes. No, none of that. So, w- w- fine. I mean, you can brand it any way you want. Like, this guy's bringing us up. He's like, he's a co host of a Tim Dillard going out. Take these people. Yeah. They don't understand. They don't know what a podcast is. They don't want to know. Yeah. They, this is the only people that live in Cape May year round. You know what I mean? Right. Now, you went up there, and you were... How long were you supposed to do? I like 10 to 15. 10 to 15. Yeah. And what did you think you ended up doing? I would guess... Let me think for a second. At least five or six. I have it all on my phone. Hand me you my phone. You didn't record the whole thing, did you? No. I recorded only clips I mean, on Instagram, and I saved them you, to my you phone. You left out the part, all the parts that people were laughing. <laughs> right. There was a couple. Right. There was a few. Right. I had them for moments. Right. This is. You had them in the beginning. You can hear laughs in the beginning. You can actually hear where it goes bad. It's actually, it's actually quite clear. You can hear where it goes bad. Basically, um, all right. So the first mistake I get, I, I do a little crowd work up top. Yeah. Not we're, crowd work. I have a little yeah. riffing. Yeah. You know, uh, something about. Well, we're gonna listen. We're gonna play it, and we then don't have that part. Uh, yeah, I do. You have the part about me, uh, Matt Lauer. Yeah. I have the tail end of it. Okay. But not... Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think the best way. The best way to do this, Shannon, you think... You want to just email it to me? Is it? A, it's a video, right? <sighs> yeah, they're little 15-second clips, but I, I don't even know if... I have the beginning. Um, let me see if this is the Matt Lauer. Big laugh. See, you got big so, laugh. Uh, first of all, don't start with that. Don't fucking pat yourself on the back one fucking time. Here. Don't start with that big laugh. Did you hear that, Shannon, at all? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I think we should just do that because I think it's easier. Um, so what happened was Ray gets up and he does a riff about Matt Lauer, which was funny. Thank you. Um, he said, I'm the new thing in television. No more. What's that guy Because they brought me up with my, my Vice show or whatever. Like, you know, so like, it's a transition that we'll riff yeah, about that. Yeah, now... You get that big laugh. now. I should have kept riffing. You should have kept riffing. And you should have kept riffing uh, kind of on that topic. I do often go long. So let's see, because I have more. Let's see how far this records. And then we'll we'll isolate some of the clips. But like, let's see how far this goes. So you're going to hear the Matt Lauer thing again. And then it'll. It, I, I think we get to the beginning of the problem here. And then we have the rest of the problem. I don't think you're going to be Again, that's also funny. It doesn't matter if they can't understand what you're saying. It's still funny to them. Okay. So you said, what happens if somebody shits in the grapes? I think I was making some kind of weird yeah. point about that was, like... That was kind of funny, too. Yeah. So now what happens if... What if somebody shits in the grapes? Well, yeah, yeah. Now, now, then you have goodwill built up yeah. with the crowd right? at that point. Because you got up, you said, hey, I'm the new thing in television. It used to be Matt Lauer. Now it's me. Everybody goes, ah, this guy's this guy might be fun. And then you go... 
What happens if somebody shits in the grapes? And they're <laughs> pigs. They go, yeah, that, well, is, no, because, that is a problem. Uh, what if somebody you're, you're does leaving that? The char- I'm talking about like salmonieres and people tasting all oh, this. Yeah, 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 yeah like, sure. What if somebody shits in the grapes? Like, what's the best riff? No, 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 no. no. Listen, the, the, that compared to what comes next, this is the good stuff. Well, the, Don't disown what worked. All right, but the other so thing. So now, can... now here's what happened. He decides to go on a, a, a riff, or it's a bit, about... That you should do heroin because not that you should do heroin. Well, explain it's to us. I just don't understand the stigma. You don't against, understand the stigma against the heroin of people doing heroin. Right. That's the bit. Well, that's the idea. You don't understand the stigma. I mean, if we're going to be literal, doing we're gonna be literal. We are in the midst of an opioid crisis in this country. If we can't laugh at ourselves. Who can we laugh at? Great point, Ray. Well, the Kate May Winery, the judge, the jury, and the executioner here. Unhappy with Ray's foray into. I was told afterwards that it's apparently one of the uh, this West Cape May, New Jersey, has one of the worst heroin problems in the entire country. Even if it didn't, <laughs> this might not have been the opening thing. You sure. shouldn't have opened with. Probably. So here is Ray instructing people, telling them to kind of do heroin. No, or at least to not stigmatize those who do. Right, because you say who's making new friends in their thirties. That's kind of funny. Thank you. Okay, now it's a light little joke. It gets you into the. Into the mood. It doesn't. It doesn't get you into the mood. Often does. People it, love it. It does not. It does very they well like in Brooklyn. It in Bro- right, okay. Uh, right. Quote. It does very well in I Brooklyn. I haven't done it outside the That's show. That's on so many people's gravestones. That's right. an epitaph. Well, I had to learn. Here we go. So he said, heroin, there's still a stigma. And the beginning of that, he goes, rah, 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 rah. Well, the acoustics of how you record it don't the, help. It's my acoustics are the issue? I believe it doesn't do your set and I have a hard time hearing you. Rah, rah, rah. I Literally, there's a point in this thing where he goes like this. He goes, rah, 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 rah. I, I, do. I admit, the people, I admit the growling came off crazier than I thought it did. He's growling like a psychopath up there. Now... <laughs> Here's what's happening in the mind of the audience. They're like, we like this guy. He was just talking about Matt Lauer and shitting in the grapes. Now what's going on? He's talking about heroin and he's growling, okay? So people are kind of... Now, listen to the drop-off of how uncomfortable it got so quickly. This is when things start to really take a turn because, number one, the audience is now upset. Right. Now, he's got a chance to get him back here, but he kind of doubles down and gets angry with them. Listen. I okay. sound much angrier than I thought. So I someone someone tells him to move on, and instead of moving on, he goes, I said I was going to move on! I, I said I was I didn't want to cede control of the crowd to this person. So in the beginning, they're still kind of laughing. He goes, I shouldn't have done the heroin thing. They're kind of like, oh, yeah, all right. He gets it. Yeah. It's going to a better place. Right. And then he goes, all right, I said I was going to move on! So people are like, so then he does a bit about stealing a baby. He does a, a joke well, no, about. First I do the no. You see, you leave out the well, bit, okay. well, the well, college well. bit that I do. That did well enough. It's, okay. Relative to the, it usually does very well. Relative, did, in this context, it did well when enough. When the set ends with people yelling "get off" and booing, we can't isolate one or two jokes and go, "They did okay." I'm just saying, let's not go. Let's just acknowledge that there was a laugh in between. There were laughs in the beginning. You were doing fine. And then this, and then there was we, no laugh. No, there was. It, listen, there was coming back a little. Now this is when he's doing a bit about stealing a baby. If you're on Tinder, nobody wants to swipe right on a baby thief. The people are now starting to get confused, and now they're starting. The townspeople are starting to get angry. They're sharpening their pitchforks. See if you can hear it. So it's 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 people are starting to. Yeah, it didn't hit great. It didn't hit great. It's okay. It's all right. Now now we're gonna f- keep going. I mean, you're burning my entire set here on, on the show. Yes, he goes left hand. 
smells like ham. What kind of homo washes his hands? The people are now confused. Right. They don't know what's happening. Now this is great because now here comes the beginning of the breakdown when the wheels really start to come off. Because so far, you're, and I've had sets like this where like, you're like, uh, is, this gonna, is this redeemable? Right. Now at this point, here we go. He goes, you can't just say you're fat. You brought up heroin in the beginning. We don't like it. It's all going to come full circle. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning into it. This is where he talks about whether this is one of my favorite lines ever. You guys like Google. People are now, now here is the piece de resistance. This is the end. He's trying to do a bit, which I've heard work many times before, about feminism and shit. And what happens is people are no longer listening now. Right. They're kind of angry. And so you start to go into this bit, and they think you're, like, insulting women. Yeah. They don't know what you're doing. And then the, 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 you can hear, if you listen closely, you hear somebody go, what does the guy say? He's like, get off, get off, get off, get <laughs> off, get off. And people start booing, and the booze get louder and louder. It's a set to remember. I learned from my uh, my troubles here. You know, I, I it was kind of awkward with the people, the guys that brought us out, kind of after a little bit. Didn't you feel that? Not for me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You, 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 you listen to the show. I know. Yeah. I, look, I, it, it was not a great feeling. I'm not like, yeah. You know, yeah, it was a little <laughs> awkward. Was, I don't, yeah. I mean, the people brought us out. <laughs> he asked me to check, and I'm just like, thank you very much. <laughs> I told Ray I said it'd be funny. People they, get they, me. They seem to like me afterwards. Yeah, they 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 got to drive us home now, like three and a half hours the next day. I said to Ray, I said it'd be funny if you fucking go to the guy and go, listen, you know, what am I headlining this? <laughs> Let me headline. But you know, here's the I thing. Did. 